All right, so this first part, again, lots of what's in this chapter is um, converting between units. This third section here is converting between SI and Imperial units. All right, so the first couple sections you've worked within each of those systems, and now you're switching between those systems. So you're doing things like changing 37 meters to feet, or changing centimeters to inches, or feet to meters, and so on. All right, so what you do need is your, uh, is that conversion sheet or conversion factors that you could look up online or or wherever all right so this thing this is the same thing that you have on the provincial exam right so it's good it's good to get used to all these conversion factors and everything um, probably the ones that you might internalize and remember or know already are a mile is about how much how many kilometers mile is about 1.6 kilometers this is a little bit more precise right because the two systems don't match up completely an inch is about two and a half centimeters or on the sheet here they have it a little bit more precise and if you looked up online you could get it even more precise than that a foot is they have it listed here as 0 0.3048 meters what I might be tempted to do if I were you on your uh, formula sheet is also right here that 0 0.3048 meters is the same as 30.48 centimeters. I guess they were thinking feet and meters are more or less the same type of measurement, about the same, you know, that you would use for the same type of distances. But you can also have it in centimeters that a foot is about 30 and a half centimeters. And then a yard is a little bit less than a meter. You can use that one. All right, so if we're trying to do some unit conversions here, there's a couple different methods that you may have tried in earlier sections here when you're working within each one of those systems. One is to use a proportion, one is to use unit analysis. You can decide whichever one you like to use to do this. So we'll do both here. Um, let's uh, make this a little bit bigger here first just to, so we can see what we're doing. How about even bigger than that? That a little bit too large, or can we see that? We can see that, right? Um, if you are trying to do some conversions here, 37 meters to feet, if you're using a proportion, what that involves is saying, just writing feet and meters like this. If you have 37 meters, and this is what you want here, write a proportion, which means compare it to a ratio you know, right? So if you don't know what goes there, how many feet you're looking at here, you can write the conversion factor here. So you look up on your sheet something that compares feet and meters, which you do have, right? You have this thing, one foot is 0 0.3048 meters. So you can say one foot, 0 0.3048 meters. Once you have that comparison, you can divide these numbers, figure out how many times more that is, Divide those two numbers to figure that out, and then do the same thing here. So if you get your calculator out, if you were to, if you were to uh, divide these two numbers here, see how many times more it is. We'll do that right now. Uh, 37 divided by 0 0.3048. Okay, this is 121 roughly times more. Okay, you can keep that number in the calculator because we'll use it, right? Okay, 121 times more. So actually, that's all you need, right? Because this is a one here. So you don't even need to do any multiplication. This is about 121.4, let's call it. 121.4 times more. So that this is 121.4. So that missing number is going to be 121.4 feet. Okay? Using unit analysis is the other option if you want to use that. Unit analysis is um, something that maybe some of you gravitate more to. Unit analysis is take the number you're starting with, 37 meters, and multiply it by a fraction that's equal to 1. And decide which way the fraction needs to go. If you have meters but you want to keep feet, you want to end up with feet, you put feet on the top meters on the bottom and then you have to put two numbers here that are equivalent right these two numbers one foot is 0 0.3048 meters one foot 
0.3048 meters. Now, unit analysis is just a way of remembering, do I divide or multiply by the number that I want to use? If you're starting with 37 meters, and you multiply it by a fraction like this, since this is on the bottom, it means you're going to divide. Basically, what you do here is you say, you know that the units are going to cancel out. That's what you want. Okay, you know these units are going to cancel out. You know that that's going to cancel with that, and you're going to be left with feet. But to figure it out, then all you have to do is say 37 times 1 divided by 0 0.3048, or in other words, 37 divided by 0 0.3048, and we already found out that that's equal to, what was it equal to? 121? 121.4 feet, okay? Whichever way works for you, whichever way you like better, if you want to use unit analysis, I think most people, in my experience, most people gravitate to using unit analysis because it's quicker, especially if you're doing a multiple conversions at once. This is longer, it seems like, but it's totally up to you. Whatever one seems to make more sense to you. All right, let's uh, try this other one here, and then maybe you can try some. Let's shrink that down. Maybe we don't need this quite so big. Okay, if we're trying to do this now, I'm trying to do 348 centimeters, 384, sorry. I'll do this one with the unit analysis. If you want it to be in inches, you need to be left with inches on top and you need to get rid of centimeters on the bottom. Right again, because you want that to cancel with that. So you got to put something on the top that's going to be equivalent, right? Conversion factor. So. If you, if you have centimeters and inches that you're working with, you can look on the sheet and see, do I have something that connects centimeters and inches? And you do, right? Right, because it's right there. So as long as you use that number, you're going to be good. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. So one inch, 2.54 centimeters. And then you know all you have to do is say 384 divided by 2.54. All right? So if you do that, I'll do that real quick here. 384 divided by 2.54 should give you the number, right? If you want to go times 1 and then divide by 2.54, that's fine as well. 151.2, let's say. Probably we should put the roughly equal to sign. You should always double check to make sure that it makes sense. If you start with 384 centimeters, and think to yourself, okay, an inch is bigger than a centimeter, the number you get in your answer should be a lower number. If you get a bigger number, you, you got to know that you've done something wrong. If you get a number that's more, all right? So think about what makes sense when you're doing this. Let's do one or two more here. 25 feet to meters. If you're using unit analysis, 25 feet. You want to, whoops, you want to get rid of feet, so feet go on the bottom, meters go on top. That conversion factor from up above here, one foot is 0 0.3048 meters, but now this time, 3048 goes on the top, because those are the meters, and one foot on the bottom. This is a way of knowing that if I'm going the other way here, if I'm starting with feet, I have to multiply by this number, not divide, right? Because again, this is going to cancel with this, and you're going to be left with meters. And then you just have to say 25 times this. And if you really want to, you can say divided by 1, although you don't need to. All right? So if you go to your calculator and do that, 25 times 0 0.3048, 7.62, 7 7.62 meters. Again, have a look to see that it makes sense. 25 feet, you expect, since a meter is bigger than a foot, you expect this number to be smaller, right? That number is going to be smaller. And let's do the last, well, let's do this one just to do one last one involving some different units here. 127 miles. Got to come up with the conversion factor for miles and kilometers. Miles and kilometers. You have one for miles and kilometers right here, so you can use that conversion factor, right? One mile is 1.609 kilometers. 
You want miles on the bottom, one mile, 1.609 kilometers. So again, that's going to that's going to tell you that I have to take the 127 by the 1.609, not divide it, right? You got to multiply it since it's on the top of that fraction. Right? 127 times 1.609 except I did 0.609, let's do that again. 127 times 1.609 and I'm having button problems here. Let's try with the mouse. 127 times 1.609. Third time lucky. 204. Okay. Again, it's going to be higher because a kilometer is smaller, right? 204.3, let's call it. 204.3 kilometers, right? Because miles cancel. Right, so again, just think about the number that you come up with. Uh, actually, we should do these last two here because um, these ones involve things where you don't have a direct conversion off the sheet. So it's worth thinking about what's going on here. Okay, if you're doing this 29, um, if you're doing this 29.5 kilometers to feet, 29.5 kilometers, and we want to have here. We're not necessarily going to be able to do it directly because we don't have something that's kilometers to feet. You could look something up on the internet. You could come up with a conversion factor for kilometers and feet if you want. But you might have to do it kind of in a two-stage process here. right? If you're using just these ones, you're going to have to do this in, in kind of two steps here. So if you look at this and you say, I can't go kilometers to feet right away. But I could go kilometers to miles first because then it puts it in the imperial system. And then I can do another one as well, right? I can multiply it by, I can do unit analysis multiplication twice. So if I go kilometers to miles and then I get rid of miles and I keep feet because I do have a conversion between those two. I have a conversion between kilometers and miles and then I have a conversion between miles and feet. And then I can just do it all at once and it'll be pretty quick. So if I put in here that 1.609 kilometers is one mile, and then over here that one mile is how many feet? Do we have something for miles and feet on here? We do, right? Right here. One mile is 5,280 feet. So you can put that in there, 5,280 feet. Because then you're going to have the miles cancel, and you end up with what you want. Now the thing that you, you can either do it in one step or you, or you can do it in a couple steps. If you've written it out like this, you can do it all in one step on your calculator if you want. You just have to realize that that's on the top. You start with 29.5. You're going to divide by 1.609 to get miles. And then once you get miles, you're going to multiply by this because it's on top. Right? So you can do that all at once if you want or you can do it in two steps. Screen on the calculator is not very bright, but it's good enough, I guess. So if we are, uh, if we're doing this 29.5, we're going to go, whoops, we're going to go divide by 1.609. And then we're going to go times 5280, except I missed my 8. Buttons are a little sticky on my virtual calculator here. Okay, that's what, you, that's what you get. You get a pretty big number, right? Because you're going almost 30 kilometers to feet, right? A kilometer is huge compared to a foot. So it makes sense that the number is big like that. 96805.5, let's call it. 96, so roughly 96805.5 feet, right? Because feet are left over, that's what you want. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. Should we do the last one for the sake of completeness here? Why not, eh? I can hear you saying that right now. Okay, let's do this last one here, 82 inches to meters. Okay, set it up. Why don't you try uh, doing that first and I'll pause this while you try. Okay, if you haven't done part F there, do that right now and then I'll write a solution out in a minute here. Okay, so maybe we should try this one right now. Okay, if you're doing 82 inches to meters, you're not going to have a direct connection between inches and meters. You can start with 82 inches. 
you can do something. You do have a conversion between inches and centimeters. And then you can say, well, I know centimeters to meters, so you can do it in kind of two steps like this again. If you don't have a direct conversion between them, that's a good way of doing it. Right, just do, do two conversion factors there. If you look at your sheet again, one inch is roughly 2.54 centimeters. And then you know that 100 centimeters is one meter, right? So if, as long as you do it like that, then you know that inches cancel out, centimeters cancel out, and you're going to be left with what you expect you're going to be left with. And then all you do is 82 inches times that, divide by that. So if you go to your calculator, let's move it over here now. All right, so you start with 82 times 2.54. Okay, and that's going to get you to centimeters, and then you're going to divide by 100. You could do it in two steps. You could say, okay, there, if you want to, you can write that down and then do the conversion. You can do it in two steps if you want. Convert it to centimeters, and then go back and convert that to meters. And then, of course, you don't even need to do this on the calculator, but divide by 100, you get 2.08, roughly. 2.08. 2.08 meters. Think about whether it makes sense, right? 82 inches. Think about, uh, you know, 82 inches, how high that is. About 2 meters, it makes sense. If you're getting an answer that says like 2,000 meters, 82 inches is not, you know, 2,000 meters. If you've multiplied instead of divided over here or something like that, just make sure you think about whether the answer makes sense. All right, so that's converting between those units. Hopefully that made some sense to you. And you can do it now.